Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. All right, Virgos. This is another love reading for you. Now, if you are new here or a new subscriber, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And if you are a returner, why, welcome back, my friend. This is what I call, and because I can't remember the name of it, I call it the Amethyst deck. But that is not the official name, but it is an RWS with purple tie-dye stuff on it. And who doesn't like that? All right. So this is a nice one to have for the overall victory. So this is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Looks like you're rest resting after a battle. Whatever is going on here, too, your person thinks of this as a very strong situation because of the star and the sun here. So getting back to you, it looks like you, you've been needing to rest after a battle here. Here's the Queen of Pentacles and the Temperance card. You know that this is going to take some time. And with this Four of Swords here, you're definitely needing to go into the hermit mode, kind of stepping back, giving some time alone, meditating, resting. And with this Queen of Pentacles comes the Six of Swords, which is moving into calmer waters. With the Temperance card, you know over time you will get your wish fulfillment, which is a victory. So I feel like you're definitely playing the long game here is what I'm hearing. With the Sun card here for your person, it's the Queen of Wands. Your person definitely has a love for you. They want to also see the happiest card in the deck, which is the Sun card. And there's love sandwiched in between love, happiness, and balancing. There's passion. Yeah, your person wants to have this be an equal give and take. So yeah, I feel like you guys might need a new start here with this Fool card. I feel like your person is just as willing to have a redo as you are. So the storyline here, here's the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Trying to balance it out, keeping logical thinking. But the Tower card here, whatever happened between the two of you, there's the Six of Cups. Clarifying the tower. Twin flame soulmates coming back, coming together, giving and taking. With this king of pentacles comes the moon card. I feel like for some of you, that there might have been someone else involved. And I think... You know what I'm getting here, because, you know... If you guys have been here before, you know that I'm a psychic medium so I can go super deep when it is called for. So I kind of feel like one of your guys' exes came through with a secret they thought would um, kind of break the two of you up. Yeah, they were definitely hoping that it was going to put a rift between the two of you, but it might have put a little bit of a rift. You know, it even might have, you know, brought you guys to um, have an ending or have some time alone where you're like, you know what, I just need to think. But I don't feel like it's the end by any means. Yeah, there's, there's still a lot of love. There's still a lot of passion here. Yeah, whatever this person tried to do, I feel like... I think it, it worked for the moment, but then it's going to kind of flip and it's just going to be another restart. You guys are going to be able to work this out. This has been kind of a, a theme for today's energy. And especially since this is, um, you know, a reading that I do sequentially, I can kind of see readings where I'm like, hmm, other signs. So you might want to check out the other ones that I put out today too. So, and I think it was like cancer and... Taurus and Aries. So 
romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, whatever this person tried to do, it was a short-term thing. You guys still might be in the middle of it, you know, like not talking or, you know, having a little bit of a break. But it says very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I think right now this person who's tried to, you know, bring forth whatever information they thought would be damning, they're going to be pretty darn, because um, right now they're, they're really um, gloating like, <laughs> yeah, and they're going to be pretty de devastated <laughs> when it doesn't quite work out. So there's trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So you're going to have to trust that whatever information was given either through you or through them, it's something that the both of you can work through. Both of you want this. Like, they want the happiest card in the deck with the fool. A restart. A new situation. And you know that there's going to be um, some temperance here. Here is wish fulfillment. And then here's victory. So, you know, and there's going to be a renewing of this connection. Possibly even a marriage or a you know, a commitment. So stay optimistic and, you know, have positive thinking about what this is about, how you guys can move this forward. What is it that your person is feeling right now about you? Yeah, they want to communicate with you. They might be communicating or you might want to expect communication to be around the corner. Yeah, they're, ti they're tired of wearing this mask. And it's almost like their sorrow is so much where they want, they just want this to kind of take off the mask, move forward. You know, and I feel like there will be discussions between the two of you about what happened. And so this barrier can get, you know, taken out by this action, by this communication. Okay, now what is it that the watcher needs to do here? There was deception, and here's crossroads. Whatever deception was released either, you know, from this person, whether it was your ex or their ex, just think of it as, you know, the deception has been found out, and crossroads, try, you know, it's time to move forward. You know, and both of you are unsure if the other one wants to do it. But let me tell you, both of you do. Both of you want this victory. So go ahead and ask yourself a yes and no question. The answer is no. Now, if you are liking this and this is resonating with you, please make sure to give this a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. You know, even if this one isn't resonating with you, the next one might. Because like I said, my readings go real detailed. So yeah, this is a pause. And you needed it too, with this resting after a battle and the hermit card. So, you know, let this be the pause that needs to happen so the balancing of the scales can happen. So the communication can start and then, you know, move forward. Because I do feel like this is definitely not over between the two of you. Signs. Now, guys, tell me more about that. Okay, what I'm hearing, interestingly enough, is with all of these signs, the guys are saying that there's multiple storylines here where this ex or whomever it is that got in the way try to weave a lot of different realities of what happened. And there's lots of versions of what happened. So there might have been other people that were involved and could, could, could um, cooperate or not. You know, So there's lots of voices here. But in the end, it's just going to be the two of you that matters because there's a fresh start. Hands down. So that is what I'm getting. So... See, I'm going to pull an oracle here. What 
what is it that the watcher needs to know here? Resistance. Yeah, I mean, and of course you guys are experiencing resistance from other people. But what I heard when I pulled this, because I am a Trekkie, resistance is futile. And if you know what I'm talking about, put a comment down below or give me a thumbs up. Uh, uh, gifts. Now tell me more about this, guides. Yeah, there's more. There's... Okay. So what I'm hearing is with the situation where someone tried to sabotage you or people tried to sabotage this situation by resisting and remember resistance is futile right so here you are with gifts in your hand they thought that they were going to be pushing this situation further apart between you and your person but it's actually a gift in disguise because it's going to make the two of you stronger that's the gift the gift out of all of this chaos is that it's going to make you stronger. <laughs> Isn't that funny how people can try to, you know, you and me and everyone thinks, oh my God, everything's going wrong. And then in the end, you're like, oh, it worked out better than I thought. And I guess it needed to happen. Hmm, who knew? You know, and it's, it's kind of one of those phenomenons where you're like, hmm. So it's kind of like expect a miracle here. You know, expect the unexpected, but things are going to get better, okay? Let's pull another oracle for you. Be open to healing information. Because remember, there's down here, there was communication that's going to be happening. So be open to it. Have your heart open. Be ready for it. And the healing that's going to happen between you and your person. All right, Virgos, this is it. I hope that this was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. Bye for now.